Today's date is the 18th of September 2021 and this is an instructional video on how to use the Galgal Wheel of Jacob to determine your current Galgal Wheel cycles and phases. Uh, what you are looking at on the screen is an image of the Galgal Wheel of Jacob and what it represents is a map of cycles within cycles. Um, so it, it has a, a fractal structure uh, that can be extended into cycles of, of larger extent and, and also it can be reduced down into cycles of, of smaller extent all with the same structure this particular structure this blueprint here this is a map that is is astrological um, but it is based on a an original Hebrew letter version that was uh, discovered in the uh, Hebrew text called the Sefer Yetzirah or Book of Formation that is an ancient Hebrew text so we use the astrological version of the Galgal wheel to work out um, the, the, the energies that are affecting us at any time in, uh, during our lives some of those energies are, um, are covered by cycles, individual cycles, and that's what these little wheels represent that are within the larger wheel complex. So each of these 21 little wheels represents a, an individual cycle in our lives of varying lengths depending on the the fractal scale that is used. It always starts here in the moon cycle and then it proceeds around in a clockwise direction from the inner ring jumping then to the middle ring and then spiraling around and then jumping to the outer ring and spiraling around in a clockwise direction and then beginning again jumping back to the the moon cycle which is the first cycle on the inner ring um, so this particular gal gal wheel is what I call the sleep wheel um, which is a, a key word that is mentioned in the Sefer Yetzirah. Uh, and the sleep wheel has the Pluto mandala as its central wheel, which I'll zoom into now and we can have a closer look at it and you can see it here, Pluto at the center. Um, Pluto is the astrological correspondence of the Hebrew letter Shin and Shin and Pluto represent the, the force, the, the force that is at the very heart of this particular Galgal -gal wheel. Um, that force is an evolutionary force uh, which is called the force of, well, the, fire, the, the fiery force of the Kundalini serpent uh, in in the east, um, that's what it's called, um, and it is a force that is, or well, has its origins deep within the earth. Um, so I, I see it as being connected with the the center of planet Earth, the core of the Earth, the fiery core, and I see it as moving up 
through to the through the body of the earth through to this to the uh, surface of the earth and then moving through each inhabitant of the earth each human being um, entering into our chakra system through the base chakra and rising up through the chakras uh, purging whatever is blocking its evolutionary purpose um, eliminating all the obstructions to that evolutionary force and the cycle that this wheel represents uh, is a reflection uh, of that process, that evolutionary process and it occurs in stages um, which are divided into, well the, the, the cycle is divided as I mentioned into 21 sub-cycles and each of those 21 sub-cycles is divided into 21 phases as represented by these little astrological glyphs um, that exist within those sub-cycle mandalas. So it spirals. It spirals around um, through the wheel. There are 441 phases in total uh, in the entire cycle of the Gal Gal wheel. So we can now have a look and we can learn how to work out where we are in this cycle in our lives and what, at what stage of this evolutionary process we are at as determined by our current age. I've decided to use Julian Assange as my subject for this um, example and we can see that Julian Assange was born on the 3rd of July 1971. So that is the starting date for his Gal Gal Wheel of Jacob cycle and major cycle and the first sub-cycle um, and throughout his life he has been uh, experiencing all the sub-cycles of the Gal Gal Wheel um, and as is at a certain point now uh, because he has just turned 50 years old on the 3rd of July 2021. So we're going to have a look at the Gal Gal Wheel and see where age 50 places him on that wheel and we'll have a look and see what cycles and phases he's currently involved in. So we'll just jump back to the Gal Gal Wheel and so what we do is we search for his age. Um, there are three main cycles um, that I look at uh, in, with the Gal Gal Wheel um, in relation to human beings. Uh, one of them, or the first one, the major one, is a, a 147 year cycle. Obviously we don't live that long but uh, it is divided up into 441 four month phases uh, and and of course the, the sub cycles of which there are 21 uh, they're seven years in length so that means each of these little wheels which are the sub cycles each one corresponds with a seven year period starting from birth the next major cycle that I look at is a 73 and a half year cycle which is half of the 147 year cycle and each of its 441 phases are two months are equivalent to two months and each of the individual sub cycles are each three and a half years in length um, 
and then the the third one, the third cycle I look at is a 30, 36 and 3 quarter year cycle which is half the 73 and a half year cycle and each of the 441 phases of that cycle uh, is equivalent to one month and the, um, the sub cycles the 21 sub cycles are each equivalent to one and three quarter years so there are 21 one month cycles in each of those sub cycles making them each one and three quarter years in length so now we need to find um, where Julian Assange is on the wheel and we'll look for the the longest cycle first which is the 147 year cycle where he where he fits into that um, so what we do is we look at these numbers that I have um, that I have in included in this image uh, and so what we need to do is because he is aged 50 well we can we can see age 50 is here in the Pisces sub cycle um, but what that 50 represents is age 50 in relation to the um, 73 and a half year cycle and the two month phases um, but we want the 147 year cycle and the four month phases so because there are only half as many of those in the same period we have to halve a number so he's aged 50 now so in order to find his four month phases we need to halve that 50 and find the number 25 and as it happens the number 25 is on this same spoke of the gal gal wheel um, the, the first spoke which is there the first spoke and you can see it there it is the Sun Sagittarius phase is that's the first phase at age 50 that we all go through it's a four month phase it's part of the Sun seven year cycle um, and therefore there are three per year so for the first four months of age 50 we are experiencing the Sun Sagittarius four month phase and then for the next four months the Sun Capricorn and then the final four months of age 50 is the Sun Venus so for Julian Assange uh, beginning on his birthday in this year 2021 on July the 3rd the Sun Sagittarius phase will cover from July the 3rd through August, September, October and then to November the 3rd in which on which day the Sun Capricorn phase will begin and that will extend for four months from November the 3rd through December and January 2022 February March um, and then on March the 3rd he will enter into the Sun Venus four month phase and that will go from March the 3rd through April May June to July the 3rd uh, in 2022 so let's jump back now to Julian Assange's ast astrological chart his birth chart and we'll relate his current um, gal gal wheel four month phase to his birth chart so his seven year cycle uh, is the sun cycle which started on his 49th birthday so he's already one year into this seven year cycle and it's it's focused on the evolution of the the solar principle in his chart 
the sun. So that represents his own expression of his personality, his ego, uh, and as it is an expression of the cosmic ego of our solar logos, because the sun in everybody's chart represents just a tiny fragment of expression of that of the of the ego or the consciousness the central consciousness of the solar logos so it's it represents the development of that part of julian assange that is linked to the solar logos uh, and his need to express more and more of that energy uh, in a in a purer form and that means removing uh, the layers uh, that are obscuring the the energy you know the the true expression of that solar energy and the challenge of the sun in cancer is usually connected with issues of security and safety and fear um, obviously uh, Julian Assange is in a difficult situation at the moment he is in prison which for some reason his soul has decided that it's an experience that he needs at, um, during this time um, to so that he can go through the challenges that he needs to evolve and the uh, phase, the current four month phase of the uh, seven year sun cycle is the sun Sagittarius which links to his first house and his rising, uh, his ascendant so Sagittarius is his rising sign Sagittarius represents his connection to the hierarchy of solar angels uh, that are helping him in his evolution and uh, in this case they're um, pushing him to assert himself and assert his own way of thinking, his belief system, his principles and to follow his own unique path of knowledge uh, and to express that um, and to express his truth to uh, you know when he is communicating with other people so that phase that four month phase the Sun Sagittarius is part of this seven year solar sub cycle which is part of the greater um, 147 year sleep cycle that has Pluto at its center or Shin and is the expression of that um, evolutionary force that is the Kundalini fire of evolution um, but there are two other major um, cycles beside besides the um, Pluto Shin sleep cycle there is also a Neptune cycle or Mem the Neptune Mem cycle which has the Mem mandala at its center just as the sleep cycle has the Pluto mandala at its center and all the sub mandalas or sub cycles arranged around it according to its blueprint the blueprint of the Pluto mandala so you can see that on the first spoke of the Pluto mandala we have the moon the Sun and Pisces and likewise um, on the first spoke of the of the the full mandala of Gal of the Gal Gal wheel we have the moon sub cycle the Sun sub cycle and the Pisces sub cycle which correspond they all correspond with that first spoke of the Pluto 
little wheel in the center. And likewise, on the second spoke, we have Uranus, Libra, Venus, and there they are, the Uranus subcycle, Venus, uh, sorry, the Libra subcycle, and the Venus subcycle. So, in relation to the uh, Neptune Mem Gal Gal wheel, the Sol, it's called the Sol wheel, um, this one is the sleep wheel that has Pluto at the center. It's the evolutionary wheel. But the the Mem Neptune wheel that has the Neptune mandala at its center, it represents a, a creative influence that is flowing down to us through through our higher chakras, entering in through our crown chakra and descending through the chakras. It's, it's, it originates from the sun at the center of our solar system and it radiates out from the sun and it moves through all the, the planets that surround the sun, the central sun in our solar system uh, and influences each of them. Of course each of the planets that surround the sun represent faculties of consciousness of the solar logos, that uh, divine entity whose body of manifestation is our solar system. And our planet Earth is just one of those um, faculties um, or energy centers within the the body and consciousness of the solar logos. Um, and this mem uh, energy works through Neptune um, and so it pours forth from the the Sun at the center and it moves to us um, through our crown chakra like I said through our higher chakras and descends into us into the lower chakras as far as it can go um, because it is limited by our evolution, our stage of evolution as to how far it can penetrate. And that's what the job of of the Shin force is, you know, the Pluto Shin Kundalini fire is is there to uh, help to clear our chakra system to enable that that energy of Neptune Mem to flow down um, and inhabit our chakras. So they work together but they're flowing in opposite directions. The, sh the force of Shin, uh, the Pluto force is coming up from the center of the earth, the fiery core of the earth and is moving up through our chakras entering through our base chakra and rising up through the, the higher chakras and the Neptune Mem energy is flowing from the Sun at the center of our solar system and it's reaching us and entering our consciousness through our um, crown chakra and descending and both of these meet together the upward flow of Shin and the downward flow of Mem or, or Neptune and or Pluto and Neptune um, and yes together they represent the creative evolutionary process that is unfolding on our planet and through the collective human consciousness. So with with the Neptune mandala at the center all the the rest of the mandalas are arranged according to the blueprint of the Neptune mandala with Scorpio as the first subcycle replacing the moon uh, which is the first subcycle in the Pluto mandala and there it is there the moon subcycle so the Scorpio subcycle will replace that moon 
uh, when Neptune is at the center, when the Neptune mandala is at the center. And it's interesting that Scorpio, the Scorpio cycle is the first sub-cycle of the Neptune mandala because it is the last sub-cycle of the Pluto mandala. And, and therefore, you know, it forms the, the last sub-cycle of the larger Galgal wheel, the sleep wheel. There it is there. So that is the last sub-cycle before the beginning of the next round in the of the Galgal wheel of the sleep cycle. So the Scorpio sub-cycle begins the mandala, the Neptune mandala or Mem mandala. Um, and all the phases of the uh, of the soul cycle of the Galgal wheel are running parallel to the phases of the Shin Pluto cycle, the sleep cycle. Um, so whenever you, whenever you're going through a a phase, one of the 441 phases of the the Pluto Shin sleep cycle, you're going through also a a phase of the uh, Mem Neptune cycle as well, a four month phase, let's say, um, and that phase will be determined by the arrangement, the particular arrangement of the sub-cycles according to the Mem-Neptune blueprint. And we can work out very easily what phase in the, in the uh, Mem-Neptune cycle corresponds with, in this case, the Sun Sagittarius phase, which is the one we're looking at in relation to Julian Assange. So at the moment Julian Assange has the Sun Sagittarius phase going um, operating in his life for four months. But at the same time he has a a phase, a four month phase of the the Mem Neptune cycle happening. Um, so what we do is we we go to the the Pluto uh, mandala and we look at where the Sun is in the Pluto mandala. That is the cycle that Julian Assange is currently in, the Sun cycle. Um, so we look at where that fits in the uh, Neptune mandala. So it it corresponds with the Jupiter cycle in the Neptune mandala. So see they're in the same position relative to each other on the first spoke. The middle the middle cycle on that first spoke it is the Sun on the in the Pluto mandala and Jupiter in the Neptune mandala. So Julian Assange is experiencing in the soul cycle in the um, seven year, or well, it's 147 year soul cycle, the seven year Jupiter sub cycle. And the phase that he is going through, we can work that out as well because we know that the phase that he's going through is Sun Sagittarius. So we go back to the Pluto mandala and we look for Sagittarius, there it is there. So and then we we compare that to the Neptune uh, mandala and we look and see what what phase or what the cycle is <coughs> phase or cycle is that corresponds with that Sagittarius and it's Gemini. So the corresponding phase to to the Sun Sagittarius phase is Jupiter 
Gemini. There's a Jupiter-Gemini four-month phase. Um, and we can confirm that by <clears throat> having a look at the um, Jupiter cycle, sub-cycle. Here it is here. <clears throat> and we can see there the Jupiter-Gemini phase of the Jupiter cycle or sub-cycle. And it's in the same relative position as the Sun Sagittarius phase there. So that just confirms that it is the correct phase of the Mem Neptune Sol cycle or the Gal Gal wheel cycle. So in a sense the Jupiter Gemini phase, that four month phase, that is occurring parallel to and in the same time period as the Sun Sagittarius four month phase, it is a kind of remedy um, because it is part of the Neptune Mem Sol cycle. It it represents the the influence um, of the higher self, the soul, as it is seeking to impress itself into um, Julian Assange's consciousness uh, and guide him on a particular pathway and to take particular action. Um, but as long as that flow of energy is impeded by um, a blockage that is connected with the Sun um, Sagittarius phase, then it can't, can't achieve much. So the Sun Sagittarius phase, which is part of the Shin Pluto sleep cycle, um, its, its work is to clear, clear the channel um, within Julian Assange within his consciousness so that the influence of the Jupiter Gemini phase um, so that Mem uh, Neptune influence can flow um, unimpeded through Julian Assange and influence his life uh, and so it, it contributes to a creative evolutionary process that's going on in Julian Assange's life. Um, the, the evolutionary aspect is mainly governed by the, the Shin Pluto sleep phase, which is the Sun Sagittarius phase, uh, and the creative aspect is governed by the Mem Neptune soul cycle and and the Jupiter Gemini phase. So let's have a look again at uh, Julian Assange's chart. Here we see Jupiter in Julian Assange's astrology chart, his birth chart, and the um, the Jupiter subcycle that Julian Assange is currently experiencing on the soul cycle of the Gal Gal wheel is focused there at, on Jupiter in his chart. So there is a seven year sub cycle going on there and it is occurring parallel to the um, seven year sun cycle that is on the Shin Pluto um, sleep cycle of the Gal Gal wheel. So they're working together the Sun cycle is evolutionary, trying to clear the way of all obstructions that are inhibiting the flow of the creative energy of the uh, Mem Neptune subcycle coming through Jupiter. So I think Jupiter in Julian Assange's 12th house in Scorpio might represent a 
a storehouse of knowledge that Julian has been sitting on for uh, some time, maybe some years, uh, and that he has not shared, he has not expressed, you know, he's not um, communicated that knowledge to other people. Um, and the reason for that might be fear um, and the fear that he is overcoming uh, or trying to overcome as he goes through the evolutionary process of that sun sub-cycle of the uh, sleep gal gal wheel. Uh, and as he overcomes the fear and the insecurity of you know that that is stopping him blocking him from from doing what he really wants to do but he's too afraid to do then that that energy of the uh, mem neptune soul cycle can come through the jupiter sub cycle um and work its way through and this phase is Jupiter Gemini so it will work its way through Gemini here in the seventh house this is the house of relationships and Gemini in the house of relationships represents people that Julian Assange is communicating with and sharing his knowledge and information with so I think that the Jupiter Gemini phase represents uh, the influence of that that Mem Neptune um, soul cycle, uh, helping um, Julian to overcome those fears and to share that knowledge and that information that he's holding on to and he's holding back on. Um, and and when he does, when he finally releases that information, uh, it will contribute to the creative process that his soul is involved in on the earth during his current incarnation. So I'll end this little instructional video there and I hope that you have enjoyed listening and watching and I wish you all the best for the future.